Hi, Kat Chancellor with Stamp Art Connection. I'm an independent stamping up demonstrator. And today I'm going to demonstrate how to put together this composition. This card is made up of all the images that come in the Heartland stamp set. A barn, a tractor, and this cute little boy with the ducks. The supplies that you're going to need to put this together are going to be a piece of whisper white, shimmery white cardstock at five and three and three fourths, a layering piece which is crushed curry at five and a fourth by four, and then my cardstock is going to be denim da dapper denim at five and a half by four and a quarter. I'm also going to use stays on ink and some memento, and I'm using my uh, watercolor um, pencils that are in the Stampin' Up! Uh, catalog as well as an aqua painter. So let's go ahead and let's get started. So the way that we're going to put this card together, the technique rather, is I'm, use, I'm going to use a masking technique. And you can see that the three images are set up where we have a foreground image, a middle ground image, and a background image. We're going to start with our foreground image, we're going to mask, and then we're going to build back to our background image, and then we're going to watercolor it. The way we're going to do this is using post-it notes to create um, masks. So to begin with, as you can see, I have all my images lined up on my blocks. And I'm going to begin with the foreground image, which is going to be the little boy. And I'm going to take my stays on ink. And I'm going to ink it up. as well as can be, and I'm just going to put my picture here so I can kind of see where I have him stationed. I kind of want to put him pretty much in the center, but um, not dead center, because I want to put the tractor in and uh, have room for the, for the dog. So he's going to go right about here, and I'm going to lay it down, and then I'm just going to kind of press and let that ink kind of go into the, into the paper. Okay, and there we have a really nice image. So I'm going to put that aside, or before I put it aside, I'm going to take a piece of post-it note, and I'm going to now use the stamp off ink, and here's the sticky part of the, of the post-it note, and I'm going to stamp him right here. And all I really want to do is just get a very faint rough image. I'm going to close this off because what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my scissors and you can see I have a very faint image and I'm going to cut around that image. Which means I'm going to cut around, I'm going to fussy cut all the little, around the little goose, around the goose's head, and then up around the, the little boy's shoulder. And then his head. And then down his arm. And I, it doesn't matter, I can leave the stick. I don't have to fussy cut the stick. But I do want to go as far down as where this ground is and come back up and get the other side of the goose's head. up around this little goose. And then all the way around. And I'm just going to come in a little bit so you can see how closely I'm cutting the image. Okay, so there's the image of the little boy. You can see I fussy cut him all the way around. 
and this is what I'm going to mask be, so that I can do my next my next layer okay so we're going to put this paper aside and I'm going to lay this over using that the adhesive of the of the um, post-it and I'm going to lay it right over my image so that I cover the entire image of the little boy the next image I'm going to um, stamp is going to be the um, the tractor. Now, because I don't have my uh, image of, or rather, I haven't put my my image on the back of my stamp because I kind of prefer to do it this way simply because it sticks better. I took a pen and you saw me and I just kind of marked where my dog is because he's going to be that next um, character rather or, or, or figure that I want in my picture. So I want to kind of know where he's at so that when I stamp my tractor I make sure that my that my dog is within um, within view right there. So there's the little dot I made for for my dog, and I'm going to line it up. First, I'm going to go ahead and ink this up. Okay, so it's nice and inked up, and I'm going to line up my dog and. In this image here, my dog is right about the at the the foot of where the the um, tail feathers of that bird are. So I'm just going to put my dog right about there. I'm just going to lay that down. And I'm just going to let it kind of go into the paper. Press a little bit and voila I have an image around the thing There you go. Pretty good image. Okay. Now I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to take this and I'm going to stamp this off here where I can barely see it. And I'm going to cut this piece out. But since I've already done that, all I'm going to do is I'm going to use the one that I have used before. I'm going to kind of make sure my ink is dry. And I'm going to place this one right over my tractor. Now I just want to show you that what I cut out with this one is that I cut out the, um, or rather, let me see if, if I can get this in focus here. I did not cut, there we go. Okay, I did not cut the um, steering wheel. I just cut right across my tractor like that. Okay, because you can see the image kind of has, um, has a steering wheel there. So if I laid this on top of there, you can see what I didn't what I didn't fussy cut. I just cut straight across, okay? It makes it a little sim simpler. So I'm just going to lay this piece on top of here, like that. And now I'm going to stamp my last image, which is the barn. And that's going to be my background image. Now, this is a very complex um, stamp image, so I just need to make sure I have, I ink it well. So 
So I'm going to kind of make sure that I've got that's a good wet ink on there. And my stamp pad's a little dry, but I don't like a very wet stamp pad because because there's so so many little details in here. If you have a really wet stamp pad, the ink's going to get into those little grooves and you're going to get a blurry image. So now I'm just basically, and you can kind of see how this one's done, I'm going to put my barn right, right mm -hmm. there. And I'm going to put this down and I'm going to put some pressure on it because I want to make sure that I get as much ink as I can on my paper. In fact, I may even kind of stand up and kind of walk my thumb, careful not to move, careful not to move my um, my stamp pad. Okay, and there we go came out really really nice all right so I'm going to put that aside and now we can pull off our pieces and we can always use these again there we go so we have our little boy the ducks and the dog and the tractor so I'm going to save these and just set them aside because they're going to go they're going to go back into my um, into my stamp set um, to use for my next card. All right. So now that I have the little boy, um, I'm going to take this stamp set here called the sitting here, and there's this piece of earth. And you may have a stamp set that has um, something similar to this that you can use. But the reason why I'm going to use this is because, as you can see with this image here, um, I just kind of wanted to anchor my image on the foreground. Because right now, um, it's kind of floating out there. So I'm going to... Um, Take my, and I gotta make sure I have this right. I'm gonna ink up my my sentiment. And then I'm going to go ahead and ink up my ground and I'm going to I'm going to kind of put that right under the dog right there and I'm actually going to take a yellow sticky because I don't want it to go completely to the edge I kind of want to have a bit of a of a border so I'm going to do right there under the dog Okay, and then I'm going to take again, I'm going to take my yellow sticky and I'm going to stick it right along this border because I'm going to put it right under the little boy's feet. And there you go. So when I take this off, you can see I kind of have some, um, some, uh, Kind of some ground. The our figures aren't just floating, floating out there. So I think that is a helpful technique for putting together uh, this particular composition. Um, so I'm going to put my stays on aside, and I am going to begin to color. So let me kind of come in a little bit so you can see our image. 
and we're going to talk about we're going to talk about colors. Now, I have a piece of Kleenex here and I have a piece of um, baby wipe because I'm going to use that to keep my um, my uh, water um, marker here, aqua aqua writer clean. And I'm going to take my pencils and the colors I'm going to choose for my composition is I'm going to use Bermuda Bay for my sky. And let me just come out so you can see my colors. Bermuda Bay for the sky. I'm going to use the um, yellow for the geese. I kind of want the orange and the yellow for my dog. Um, I want my tractor or my barn to be red. So I'm going to kind of use this um, this uh, rich razzleberry for my barn. I want to keep my gray and my black because I, ha I have the, um, the wheels for my tractor that I want to use. I have my old olive for the foliage and I want to use my orange as a little bit of shade and I want my blue for my little boy's um, uh, overalls. And I think I am going to go with a green Stamping Right marker for some of my other fo foliage. And um, I may go with uh, the red for the tractor. Um, or actually, I think John Deere tractors are actually green, but I don't, I'm going to kind of think about that for a minute. So those are the colors I've kind of laid out for my composition. And now we're going to, um, to go in for the, uh, and color. Now, the way I'm going to approach this is I want to start with my most important figure first. So that's going to be my little boy. So I'm going to focus on my little boy and I don't have to, there's a couple of ways, uh, different techniques we're going to use for this. Oh, I forgot. I am going to use a stamping marker here called Blushing Bride for my skin. So that's actually the first thing that I want to do on my little boy is I want to do his, his skin so I can very carefully get his little arms and his back and his little chubby little hands and his little feet.
and there you go. It's done. And for those of you that know I have my wonderful little figure stuff, I'm going to put my little figure winding around my animals here so they pop a little bit more. And voila! Our composition is done. So now all I have to do is to let this dry and then once it dries I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put this on my uh, paper and I'll have my card together for my for my note card. So I hope you've enjoyed this. This is Cat Chancellor with Stamp Art Connection. Happy stamping.